In this video, I will be showing the kit contents of the SIM 100 module. To start off, we have the SIM 100. Next up, we have the SCD or serial to CAN dongle. Next, an FTDI cable. Then a cable that goes from the SCD to the SIM 100. And lastly, three voltage cables that go from the SIM 100 to your testing system. This is the red cable representing the positive end of the battery. We connect it to the SIM 100. Notice that it says VX1, this is the positive. Notice also that there's a clip over here. You connect the clip to the facing outwards of the board. When you push it all the way in, you should hear a click. Now the negative or black cable going to VX2. And now the cable that's green with yellow stripes goes to chassis. These cables are supposed to connect to your high voltage battery system. Uh, the connection guide is included in the documentation for the module. Now in this video, I will show how to connect the SIM100 module to our computer. To start off, you have the SIM100. You have the cable that goes from the SIM100 module to the SCD. You connect the cable to the SIM100. Notice that it connects only one way, and when you push it in all the way, you should hear a click. Next up, we have the other end of the cable, which goes to the SCD. Notice that we'll only connect one way because of the indents in the connector. Next up, we have the FTDI cable. Notice that in the FTDI cable, one of the wires are black. You connect that to the SCD where the pin also says ground. Black is ground. Next up, you connect the FTDI cable to the laptop. After that, you start up the software. Now in this video, I will be showing how to start the SIM100 GUI software. To get started, you open the folder you retrieved from the website. You navigate to the SIM100 underscore GUI file. You can notice that's the correct file because it has the Sendine logo as an icon. Double click it. Go to File, Settings. Make sure the correct FTDI device is selected. To verify that you were able to connect to the module correctly, you could go to the SIM100 General tab, and in there you should see the SIM100 serial number, the firmware version, and the part name. Now for this video, I will be showing the demo setup of our SIM100 module. To start up, we have a demo platform for the SIM100, which we made just for this video. This is not included in your kit and some supplementary documentation and a power supply representing the battery voltage. This is also not part of the kit contents. Now I will show how to connect the SIM100 demo unit to a computer. First up is we have the previously mentioned power supply. This goes to the power supply input to the demo board. Next up we have the cable that goes from the SCD to the SIM100. We plug in the cable. Notice that when you push it in, you should hear a click. Now I will be showing how the SIM100 functions in our demo unit. To get started, again, this is the SIM100 module. These are the connections to our test setup. So we got the negative end of the battery. We got the positive end of the battery. We got chassis. And we've got our CAN connection. This is the power cable that was mentioned beforehand. This represents the battery. Right now in this test setup we have everything open which means that there's only 2.001 mega ohms of leakage resistance between the positive and negative ends of the battery and chassis. Now I'll be introducing 100 kilo ohms of leakage resistance on the negative side of the battery. When I flick the switch towards the binding post, that means that the 100 kilo ohms of leakage resistance is added in parallel with 
the resistance of the board. Now that, that it's been added to the circuit, we wait for the SIM100 module to recognize the change. Once it does recognize the change, then it should say roughly 95 kilo ohms of leakage resistance for the negative side of the battery. Now I will remove the 100 kilo ohms and add in 500 kilo ohms on the positive end of the battery. Now we wait for the SIM100 module to recognize the change in the circuit. Once it does, then the leakage resistance should say 400 kilo ohms on the positive end of the battery. This video will showcase the functionality of the SIM100 module, both in kit form and the demo setup we did for the purposes of this video. Thank you for watching.